Getting set up with the Intrepid Enlarger. In this video, we'll go through everything you need to get started with the Enlarger and how to set it up to prepare for printing in the darkroom. Unlike traditional enlargers, you only need to set up the Intrepid Enlarger when you want to use it, so it's not crucial to have a permanent darkroom space. If you have access to an actual darkroom, then great, but if you don't, all you need is a bathroom or DIY space that you can turn totally dark. Once you've got the space, you can get printing. To do this, you will need a copy stand or sturdy tripod, Intrepid 4x5 camera or any 4x5 with a graph lock back, the Intrepid Enlarger kit, negatives, focus finder, Ilford multi-grade filters, photographic paper, only to be open in the dark, a lens, safe light, trays, tongs, and chemicals, developer, stop, and fix. Now let's set the enlarger up and take a quick look at what each part does. Start by mounting your 4x5 camera to a tripod or copy stand, with the front standard facing down and parallel to the surface below. Next, carefully remove the ground glass and slide the light source into place. Securing it with the graph lock clips. The light source will illuminate the negative to create your print. It also plugs into the timer, which controls exposure times. Now that's all set up, we're going to place a printing easel below. It's really useful for framing your image, holding the paper down and ensuring it's all lined up correctly. If you don't have one, you can actually use a cutting mat to line things up and just tape the paper down to keep it flat. If you don't have a copy stand, a tripod works just as well. It's just a little harder to line up. So make sure the legs are really far apart like this. Then the easiest way to line the enlarger up is by placing a cutting mat, or some graph paper even, below. Turn the enlarger on and line up the projected image with the grid below. Next, you've got the negative carriers. There's 4x5, 35mm and a set of four covering the different 120 formats. Carefully place your chosen negative into the correct carrier, like so. Then slot the negative carrier into the back of the camera, just like a film holder. It's important to get the negative emulsion side down, which is the more matte side. This ensures the image will print the same way round that it was taken. Now it's time to pop your lens on. For enlarging 4x5 film, you can actually use a standard 150mm lens if you don't have an enlarging lens, that is. But for other formats, it's best to use an enlarger lens mounted to the lens board provided. The filter holder then fits directly to the lens and this uses Ilford multi-grade filters, which alter the intensity and tone of the contrast, but we'll add this later. Lastly, you'll need to prepare the chemicals. There needs to be enough to cover each tray well and it is important to measure them out according to the instructions on the bottle as each brand varies. Today we're using Ilford Multigrade. The developer always goes in the red tray, stop in the white tray, and then fix in the gray. Always remember to wear gloves while doing this, as the chemicals can burn skin. Once you've done that, you're ready to start printing. <laughs> 